News First News Line with Faraz Shaukatali. And a jolly good morning to you. This is News Line live as always from the News First studios in Dawson Street in Clambo. And uh, today may well turn out to be an absolutely historical day uh, for at least one reason. Not because my guest, Mr. Faisal Mustafa, is here and he's uh, uh, awfully uh, compliant and uh, uh, he likes us and we like him because he turns up here and actually he does uh, answer the questions that we pose him. So let's see. He's going to be doing something today and um, that's why we've got him here. Good morning to you, Minister Faisal Mustafa. Morning for us. Is your pen all ready? I yes. can lend you that. Lend. 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 It's all ready for us. All set to go. All set to go? All set to go. Well, what, what is this thing of significance that you're doing today at 11 o'clock? For us, for the local government election to be held, yeah. I need to have publish a gazette notification, specify how many members each local body consists of. Right. And I'm doing that today. So this is the final step, is it? Final step to hold the election. And, and thereafter it's out of your hands? Thereafter it's, it's all with the election commissioner. Mind the day should pray. That's right. Like he says, the, I, I create the pitch for him to bowl. So are you going to be taking a break then now uh, from 11.30 onwards? No, I, I never take a break. Right. I, have, I have other duties. My ministry is not only to hold elections, ah. even though certain quarters has, has, per, has perceived me to be the person who delays election. Yes, yes. That, is that a good, is that a uh, warranted perception? No, it's not for us. I have done just by the country. I have facilitated yeah. all parties with regard to the law and, and created a conducive environment which would favor all in holding this election. Now then, I, I really wanted to ask you, because uh, if you, you know, if you remember about three weeks ago you were on Face the Nation. Um, uh, broadcast on TV One um, by Shamir Rasuddin. Yeah, that's right. Now you were there. You as well? there. Yes, I was there, and I, I posed you a question, and um, I asked you whether you would resign if these elections were not held as you had previously told this program in January and in March. And although Shamir didn't uh, want uh, me to ask that question because he asked me to withdraw it, uh, you chose to answer it, and of course you said. Uh, no, I'm not going to resign because um, I will only resign when His Excellency the President says so and so on and so forth. Um, this is my answer. But actually, the, the idea was to figure out how committed you were to what you had said. So obviously today, uh, I'm thinking to myself, you could have quite easily have answered that question and mm -hmm. said, yes, I would resign because you, you were sure that you were going to have the election. For us, I hold office at mm. the pleasure of the President. Mm. So if the President fears I don't carry off my duties properly, I should tender my resignation, or if there's a no confidence against me in Parliament. Mm. So until I have the confidence of the pre President and the majority in Parliament, I would function. What about principle? Principles, yes. If I have done something wrong, mm. and then I feel that I should resign, I would resign. Mm. But the fact that certain quarters just throw wild allegations at me, saying that elections are getting postponed, yeah. that, that wouldn't justify me tendering my resignation. Do you know, I've, I had uh, yesterday when I let our uh, viewers, we have a selection of viewers I send messages to okay. ahead of your arrival, and one of them came back with a, with a uh, question last night actually, and which I thought made sense. He wanted to know whether Minister Faisal Mustafa is a minister, within brackets he said politician, or a strategist. For us, would you want uh, to venture to answer that? I would, yeah. yeah. For us, I am not a strategist. I mean, I am committed to carry out whatever has to be done in the interest of the party mm. and the interest of the government. Mm. And I don't dictate strategy, it is His Excellency the President that dis dictates strategy of the government. But as a legal uh, man, you, carry you, out, as carry a legal out. man, you're quite used to uh, giving counsel. Yeah, if advice is sought, yeah. I give advice. So why do you think the President ha chose you to for do what you're doing? For us, the President had to choose somebody yeah. and he thought I was fit for the job. Yes, but then he knew that you were 
a legal man, that you are good at counseling, yeah, I think and I've you're been... probably good at the job you do. Only the tax man would know that because, you know, you earn more money, the more successful you are. I have been a successful lawyer. Yeah. I would concede that. Yeah. And maybe His Excellency the President would have thought my legal skills also could be useful in certain functions. Indeed, indeed. Uh, so, therefore, uh, would you agree with the school of thought that you are uh, the ultimate strategist because um, rather like Chama Rajapaksa was the gatekeeper in parliament, you know, you, the, obviously President Rajapaksa had him there as his gatekeeper uh, in terms of uh, impeachment motions and so on. Right. So similar to that, do you think that you were this standby man strategy the, the, the government is clearly unpopular on several fronts, this government, this unity government, right? And here you come along with a strategy, and you've, you've the, 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 the claim is that you've done pretty well in this strategy. You've managed to postpone elections. For us. Your and and your, your favorite catchword was, what was that? Delimitation. For us and so on. You're trying to throw words into my mouth. No. I'm no strategist. And firstly, for us, your statement about, about the government being unpopular, I would yeah. like to answer that first. Yeah. I mean, this this government has given the freedom of expression. Mm. So certain quarters have expressed dissent on various issues. Mm. But in comparison to the last regime, when you would agree with the general public, they don't want that last regime back. So in comparison, we are better than the previous regime. But is but that, there a, good, are, but is there that are, a good standard? For is us, that a good standard for us, to compare? A, a, anything for us yeah. is in comparison. Okay, you have something, yeah. you want something better, or something is worse. Yeah. So I believe that the general public of this country, hmm. in various issues, they have expressed their displeasure, there is dissent, and we have a lot to do. But nobody wants the previous regime back. So while stating, that this government is unpopular in certain quarters in comparison to the previous regime even though in certain quarters we are unpopular mm -hmm. in, in comparison we are yet better than what was in existence right well I, I'm, going to, I'm going to respond to that but before that let me invite our viewers to uh, send your questions in 0772 300 305 uh, the cards coming up for you send us your questions there now then um, the questions are coming in take him fast um, now then, um, Hegel, this, I think this gentleman might have missed the start, or this lady even, because I've got no name there. Are you gazetting the local government election gazette today, as said by you? Every, every newspaper carries it for us. Every newspaper, and yes, that, that is, that's pretty good. But do you actually look at the papers and think, oh gosh, there I am? In all my glory. Do you no, do that? I, I, I do look at the papers because I, I, I need to know what's happening. Yeah. But I'm definitely signing the Gazette today at 11 a.m. It's been one hell of a fight, hasn't it? No, it, I be, there is a process. Yeah. The process is complete. Yeah. And it's now time to go. It's time to go. Time to go and get in the Gazettes, get sorted out. How, how, how late is all this? It's not late. It no, is, no, it is for room. us. According to the rule. For how us, late is it? I do what is just. Yeah. by the country in terms of the law. Yeah. I mean, certain quarters has used the election as their platform, saying that this government fears to hold elections. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's unfounded. I have another viewer. Can... Um, well, okay, I, uh, some of this is not uh, fair. But uh, I'll, the, the, gust of, uh, the gist of this thing is... Um, for us, you can ask any question. It doesn't need to be fair. You know, there are, there's, uh, there's something called unless decorum. It, unless it's malicious. Yes, it, it might do. Uh, then I, I think it's best. I, I, best have to, I have to look at this with cold neutrality. But, but in, best, in best interest of everybody. But I have to ask my questions with cold neutrality. Okay. Do you always answer your questions with cold neutrality? I try to. I think your certain opinion. issues. I think you're emotionally there, and you get you my emotion. Away. If you are talking about the blessed bond, my 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 interest there is to do with uh, my pride at being Sri Lanka. No, 
and my pride in democracy and my pride in a man who pretends to want to practice Westminster style democracy and does anything other than that. My, but, fellas, I, my I, I, passion for I, democracy I, 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 is, I, is like what David, what David Cameron did. Do you know, when, he, they, when Britain voted against Brexit, he didn't not only step down from being prime minister, he stepped off as being the member of parliament. He's off politics. I think for us that way your commitment is great, especially right, since, anyway, since, we, we, since, we, we, you're a, since you're a since you're a dual citizen and, yes, and yes, you, yes, yes, you yes, have lived yes. a major part of your life in yes, UK, yes, and yes. you have to be passionate about Sri Lanka. I admire for that. For I, uh, your heart is your heart was right through, uh, with regard to Sri Lanka, even though you spend most. It part doesn't of your matter life where it has been, and, and it doesn't matter on which... Uh, for us, most process. part of your life now, you spend in the UK, right? Mr. 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 listen. I'm asking the questions, you're my guest. Yes, for us. You're here to kindly answer the Yes, questions. for us. All right? So, what this video is saying is that you've been a member of different sort of uh, uh, political backgrounds, and, and they're wondering whether this is yet another exercise. For and us. And they trust for you. Us. My, I've been only in two parties. Yeah. I've been in the CWC and in the... SLFP. Yeah. So whoever who alleges that I've been in various political parties it's getting the equation one. wrong. More than one. Yes, yeah, so yeah, okay. so what? Yeah. I mean I mean I, I if I was in a political party and I feel that policies of a certain party but is, you, is conducive you, is conducive to me. Yeah. I mean this is a democratic country. Mm. I mean I'm entitled to join whatever party I want. That's true. Uh, I That's mean true. Yeah, I mean I mean whoever asked that question. Yeah. Right? has got his facts wrong. Right. Um, do you think that protecting a politician who was caught with 165 million makes this government unpopular? If any, any politician has been caught with 165 million, the law should deal with it. Or any million, for that matter. Yeah, it should. have to be 165. Yeah, I mean, it should. They should. They should. Yeah. But you're not really protecting him. For us, there is a machinery in every government. Yeah. There is a police. There is a judiciary. And I believe that the, those organs of government should take its course. Um, I mean, I'm the minister of local government provision council for us. Come on. Yes, you, that's that's true. That's true. But now, look, um, taking into consideration the SLFP <coughs> and UNP in unison in government, who do you think is ahead in the race now? For us. What is your assessment of the SLFP performance in the upcoming elections? For us. Your party. For us. Only candidate who could have defeated President Mahindra Rajapaksa was Maitri Palas Sirisena. Indeed, and thank and, God for and, that. And today, with regard to any issue, he's taken leadership and we move forward. Mm. So, I mean, as a member of the SLFP, I believe, strongly believe, that this is the only party which can serve the masses. How deep is your, your, your belief in that? Deep, deep as it can be for us. Will you, will you uh, is it, are you so confident that? you will contest the, uh, the next, whenever the next uh, parliamentary election is. Uh, will you contest that? Or will you uh, hope that President Sirisena, as the leader of the party, will give you a position on the national For list? As I contested twice. Yeah. And this time, win? and I won. Yeah. And I, this time, President Maitripala Sirisena gave me certain tasks during the election, yeah. which I had to carry out. Yeah. And he thought it's best that I come on the national list, mm. and that's why I came on the national list. Yeah. I'm never fe fearful of elections for us. Yes, no, but, but what I'm trying to find out, and what obviously this viewer is trying to find out, is whether you are confident enough for to... Uh, for us, go our ahead. next election, I will not come on the national list, even if I'm offered, because I'm definitely contesting. Mr. Mustafa, I must put you on notice. You put me on notice for us, as you like. This, this, this program is being recorded in several mediums and no amount of firebombs or anything will, will, will get rid of that story. For us, so what I'm trying to remind you for, is that I hope that we don't have to replay for this. Us, as you know, I'm a, very con head. I'm a very confident politician. Yes. I, s I do what I say. And right? you will do it. I will do it. And I believe that the mass, I have the support of the masses. Yeah. And I believe that I'm a people's person. And I'm very confident that I can win an election. Right. Now then. Um, if you take my political history for us, yeah. I contested Kennedy yeah. when nobody in the UPFA, no minority in the UPFA yeah. has ever won. And I was the only mi minority who succeeded in winning. Um, if you ta I've taken a different course for us in politics and I've always been successful whenever, whenever okay. it was about elections. Okay. All right. Um, 
How can you... Um, well, okay, but this is not... Re well, I'll ask Too many questions, questions. No, for us. How can you kick the responsibility to law enforcement when the IGP was given instructions who not to arrest? For us, if the IGP has been given instructions who not yeah. to arrest, that is wrong. Yeah. So, that's wrong. It's if, the, if those instructions are being given, it's wrong. It's wrong not for the instructions to be given, it's wrong for the action. No, if, for us, I have been given a national task for the local government election, then I've been very preoccupied with regard to that. Yes. So I'll have to plead in ignorance with regard to certain issues you raise yeah. because I have a national duty and I've been working overnight in getting, getting these gazette sorted out. Yeah. But if you make a statement that if the IGP has, has been given orders not to arrest, arrest certain individuals yeah. and they should be arrested, then law should take its course and I'm, I'm like, this wrong. But now then, can you, can you just answer these questions because I'm, it, it sounds uh, very confusing to me. Mm, okay. Um, these, uh, the new system now, it's going to be... A mixed system. Going, yes, so it's going to have, it's going to double number of local councils? 8,400. Can we afford the extra? It's already about 4,000 now. For us, it's not what the country, the country can afford it. I mean, in certain instances, you have to take decisions for, greater, for the greater good. The country wanted women representation, and we had to increase another a certain number because of that. <coughs> yeah. And the country wanted a mixed system and we had to increase the 70-30 mm. to 60-40. Mm. And that also resulted in members being further increased. Right. So for us, people can make allegations. There's no allegations. No, people, people can make cost. complaints. This well, is yeah, cost. For us, talk about cost. The more members at local government elections. So these people, there will be more more, will get, more individuals involved more involved in the decision making process. No, for right. us they won't be. They won't be. They won't be. But they'll get a salary. They get a salary. They, they get, get security. They get allowance. They won't get security. They get allowance. No security. Unless yeah. it's the, the change circumstances change. Yes for us they will get allowance and they and they will be take part will they have they, in, 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 so no for us they take part no for us. No, they'll take part in the in the national duty of each local body, of <coughs> making, putting each local body right. So you think that we... For us, it's, it's not, not a question of whether we can I, afford it, for it's a question of whether we can afford not to do it. For us, country needed it, country needed a mixed system. Hmm. We had to facilitate smaller parties, regional parties, in this facilitate. process. Facilitate? Facilitate for us. Because, because, it because if you take history of Sri Lanka, we, were, we had two, two main parties. And subsequently, regional parties came in because in those regions, national parties didn't do their <coughs> task. Then we had parties like the JVP, which I consider, which is very progressive. Yeah. Even even in parliament, <coughs> they are a great voice with regard to issues of corruption. And yeah. I think that they may have their no they may not have their numbers, but we need them within the, within the system because with regard to their various issues. Yeah. They have been more vociferous, vociferous than others, and with regard to having policy, they have been more consistent than others. Um, somebody wants to know whether you have been burning the midnight oil. Yes, for us I have been. Because you have been working very hard to get this. I have been is working it, hard. Is it all printed and, and, yes, and for ready? Us. Well, I will invite you at 11 o'clock to come. I uh, intend being there, believe me, and uh, I'm going to exercise my right to be there. I would love it for us. I, mean, I want to see this happen. I know you can. Because, you know, quite frankly, between you, me, and our and the, viewers. And the million viewers. Uh, and the I'm, I'm, you're the first person for us to say between you, me, and the million viewers. I didn't say that. Uh, I said between me, you, between you, me, and our viewers. So okay. there is the, 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 you, you, you have not excluded much. Well, Unless somebody is sleeping, all of us. unless somebody all of us. I had unless somebody is doubts about this. unless somebody sleeping at this time. I had not many people. They're all up and about. They want to watch. They want to watch thing. your program. Of so. course, they do. So we no, no, listen. Don't, don't digress. We didn't really have much hope. I didn't have much hope. It's in this very book that I've written it all down. For us, you right. don't seem to have much hope about me anyway. No, I, I do. I do. I know for but us. now, let, tell me. Can you tell me this? This is a bit puzzling for me. Okay, and I thought. Generally, I'll, you're I'll, not puzzled for us. Yes, you generally got your acts very straight. Yes, thank you. But today, I, I, you I, got up from the wrong side of the bed that you're no, puzzled? No, 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 listen, no. listen. Uh, this, uh, I want to ask you about all sorts of things, but f let's get this out of I the way. I think you're a little not out of focus today for no, us. No, 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 hold on a minute. I want to know from you, what is this business about a bonus seat? I couldn't get my head around that. 
فراس لوکل گورنمنٹ الیکشنز ڈو نٹ ہیو بونس سیٹ ایٹ لیس اف دیر ار سرٹن اف دی ڈسٹرکٹ الیکشنز رائٹ اف یو ناؤ ناؤ پروونشل کاؤنسل الیکشنز سو دی ڈو دس بونس سیٹ اس ٹو وتھ پروونسز اونلی فار پروونسز اینڈ پارلیمنٹ اینڈ ایٹ ڈزنٹ ہیو ایٹ ایٹس ناٹ آپریٹو وتھ فار دس الیکشن فار دس ون اوکے سو ان ان دی پروونسز ہاؤ ول دس بونس سیٹ ورک وٹ ایور پارٹی وینس دیٹ ڈسٹرکٹ فار اس دے گیٹ ٹو بونس سیٹس دیٹ ایز ٹو گیو دیٹ گیو دیٹ پارٹی So that within that province, whoever wins get a get so a. So even if they win with the slight, yeah, just get, the winner. Yeah, they get a bonus seat. Right. So give yeah. them a give them a working majority for us. That has been uh, done mm. so that political parties get a working majority with regard to provincial council elections. Right. Yeah. So to to give even in parliamentary elections to give them that edge. So that that's how this national list comes about. Mm. No, national list is a different issue for us. National. How how is that chosen? That's also chosen. National like list. Bonus. National list is so chosen by the rat. 36 members of the national list. No, 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 I'm asking you, when when the party gets X amount of votes? Yeah, that's a separate process. That's a, na- in addition to dealing with ca- seats in provincial and district level, yeah. if they take the whole number of votes yeah. and divide it among the parties yeah. based on how many votes each party got. got, and there are 36 members right. in proportion. So, so It's not exactly the same as this bonus seat. No, it's not. It's right. Different. So you get two bonus seats. Yes. And then who will sit in those bonus seats? Uh, the party decides for us. The party decides. Yeah. Uh, along to some mechanism. For us, you're free. Why don't you drop well, it? Well, well, along take, along take, some mechanism. I can take you through the election Thank process. You. Thank you. Along that mechanism? Yes, for us. So they get two seats. Yes, for us. So it depends. Can the party say, well, we'll have that one or that one? Yeah, or is it, it to it, do it, with it, the number of votes? It has, it, it has to be... No, for us we are moving away from individual based politics now. Right. The the benefit of the new system is individuals have no status. It right. is the party which has status. Right. So it's a new dimension. Right. With regard once these amendments come come into being. Right. One of my viewers says that you're a good debater. Uh, I'm 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 I, I'm thankful that he thinks that way for us. I'm I don't debate. I, I it's the fact that I speak from my heart. I right. think I come out okay for us. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't say one thing and do one thing. Yeah. And I think I say when you speak the truth for us at any forum, is I mean, you come out well. There's a viewer who's asking me this question, uh, and I'm going to ask you this. Uh, it's it's a bit of a legal one. Mm-hmm. You're a legal man. Mm-hmm. Um, they're saying that the chairman of uh, the Swan Party um, is now found to be. Uh, um, no. Okay, uh, there's one message I've just received. I can't possibly say that again. Uh, I can't. I can't uh, repeat that. But thank you for that message. Anyhow, the thing is this: the question is that the the, the viewers are asking that if the chairman of the uh, um, Swamp Party has now been found to be a non-citizen, yeah, how will that impact on their nominee? It as in the president it won't impact on the nominee each if you hold office of a political party yeah. and you've done something wrong yeah. that doesn't penalize the party right so, yeah, I mean, that, that, so that, 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 that that's separate then. that's separate for us. that is law and order right i mean if a, it's like asking me yeah. that the chairman of a particular party yeah. commits a traffic offense yeah. or or murders somebody Whether the whether whether the whether the party should be disqualified. Even if it's a criminal offence, it doesn't impinge no, on. I mean, I mean, I mean, whoever asked you the question, yeah, should for once rationalise well, rationalise things for himself. Yeah, I mean, just because you hold office in a party, yeah, and that particular individual commits an offence, yeah, law and order would deal with that offence. That doesn't disqualify the political party. I see. It's a bit like uh, Mohan Peris, and uh, when they found that. He hadn't been appointed in the proper way. Uh, all those decisions that he made whilst he was Chief Justice still stood. Yes, for us. It's the same sort of principle. No, for us, for us, there is a distinction there. And okay, that, that, but it was yeah, yeah. generally the same. Yeah, sort of I thing. mean, whoever asked you that question? Well, the, can, the, the, if, if you can give me, give me his details, I can enlighten me more. I think that will take more than ten, um, fifteen minutes because I yes. mean, yeah. I mean, he has whoever asked the question got his basics wrong for us. Right. Okay. Uh, but but it's a fair question from from the mem- from yeah, a member. Yeah, for the a person who is not. Uh, well, from the member of the public, oh, yeah, they don't know yeah, the member, if whoever, yeah, you're, you're, whoever that mem- member of the public yeah. 
takes a common sense approach, yeah. I think he would, un he, would un he would be able to answer that question himself. Uh, it was very difficult in this sea of controversy. To okay, do maybe, maybe, but no, now, then, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure once my uh, my answer yeah. in your program would definitely enlightening for us. I'm sure. Uh, you are, of course. Uh, today you are all firing and you are at your best, which is excellent news. No, for us. Right, no, 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 it no, is. I now then, I want to ask you something, uh, Mr. Mustafa. Can you tell me, honestly, who is to take credit for all these things that this government has achieved? Who? For the us, SLFP or the UNP? For us, who is the head of the government? The president of the country. So now again, you're asking me questions. Sorry for that. Uh, sorry for answer. Sometimes for us, yeah. you can answer a question yeah. by asking a question. Yes. So you answered my question and then you showed a little annoyance. But when I said that the person who gets credit, the person in command. Yeah, but now isn't it uh, terribly unfair? How do you feel? This is a uh, paid for, hopefully a paid for advertisement in uh, uh, one of the Sinhalese papers. It's an advertisement by the United National Party, and they're claiming credit. This uh, um, the lady, M Mrs. Uh, uh, Gamage, is uh, taking oats there, and she's using that photograph to claim credit for uh, reducing the price of fuel by 22 percent. So the UNP is taking credit for that. For are us. you going to have? A, are you going to put your photograph on the other side and us. say we we for did us. it? You can Whose credit is it? You can put photographs as much as you like. Yeah. It's simple. A simple equation is. Yeah. Mahindra Rajapaksa yeah. had his photograph yeah. in every newspaper, every wall, yeah. uh, every I don't know whatever. But President Maithri Pala said the same. Wall. It's like wall so, to wall carpeting. Wall to wall carpeting. So. Yeah. I mean, the number of posters, the number of uh, TV commercials you put, yeah, does not justify yes the statement reflected in it. So very confident that the masses, this country, yes, believe yeah that whatever good has been done by this government, yeah. His Excellency President Maitri Palasiri Sena has given leadership to yeah, and I should see for us whenever even the United National Party generally accept that advertisement gives credit to whatever is done by the yeah. government they always put president maitri policy this in his photograph but if they, you see yeah. even even when they had their national convention yeah. they invited president maitri policy this in yeah, did you really see that photo the, the it was published yesterday the united national party that dear running in the middle uh -huh. and they had uh, the equally dear Kabir on the left okay. and the ultra dear Malik on this side mm -hmm. and they were all putting this photograph up there and claiming credit for, you know, for all the things that they've achieved. 77 items they promised, 11 have been completed, 11 is work in progress and if you do the math it's 22 if you give them that as well. It's only 28%. That's their, that's their score. For us in politics, yeah. you can say whatever. Yeah. It's a silent voter who, who does just by the country. Yeah. And I believe that the silent voter is with His Excellency President Maitri Pada Sirisena yeah. because he took this country out of the mess which was in. Mm -hmm. And whoever can get credit for whatever, if anybody else contested that election, Right. So the, you what know, you're saying, in a way, is that the United National Party is uh, wallowing in reflected glory. I mean, I mean in every political party, there are some they, platform for us. Yeah. If they want to say so, they can say so. Yeah. I mean, that doesn't take away the position yeah. that whatever good this government has done, yeah. the head of that is the Excellency President. What do you think Parasit the president felt on that fateful day when he turned up uh, at the central bank at short notice? And uh, within a few minutes, um, behind him, up trotted along running Wickram a singer. For us, I don't know what he felt. For us, you'd have to ask him. He didn't know. He's never told you. That. For us, no, I don't. You never had that. Discussion. No, for us, I have. I play a very limited role. For us, when I'm asked, asked to do a particular task, right. I don't go and ask His Excellency the President what he feels, uh, uh, what, uh, which does not concern me. Yeah. For us, what about all the bad? Who's responsible for the bad? Nope. The good, bond, for the example. good, bad, and the evil, but also the bond. It was His Excellency President Maitri Pala who set up the commission yeah. to try to bring to the public domain yeah. 
whatever needs to be brought. Who, who's, who's responsible for all this badness? For us, for us, for us, for us, the coal we are a, we are a collective so. government. Yeah. We have to also take responsibility for the good, bad, and the evil because. There is a thing called collective responsibility. Yes, so in, Say, that case, saying that, in that case, saying all these advertisements yeah. uh, by the United National Party claiming credit for the 22% uh, reduction in the fuel price when they first came in is all up to them. And you're just giving it to them. No, for us, we're not giving it to them. It, for us, masses judge. Ma Today, you can't take the masses for a ride for us. The voter is very savvy. So, therefore, you... Are, are you troubled I'm, for any reason? I'm not troubled for us. No, no reason at all. Why should I be troubled for us? I'm, I have no idea. I'm, I'm very just asking you. I'm a person who's very content, very ha happy. In I, every I, aspect I, I of don't, your... I don't have great, great aspirations in life. I'm yeah. quite happy with what I have for us. I'm a very content person. Faiz Mustafa. Thank you and good luck today at 11 o'clock. We should be there to watch you sign away uh, something to, into history, really. Like always. How do you us, feel? You're on, on the cusp of making for, history. For us, history will judge me for us. I've always done things but just by the country. You look troubled. This viewer said to me that he look I mean, troubled. I mean, I don't look troubled for us. I'm very relaxed. I'm very happy. I'm very content. But I've been under a lot of work Bangladesh pressure. Bangladesh Jaya Sekh was asking whether you... Uh, oh, my goodness me. Somebody's asking this question. I must ask you that. Please, extension 30 seconds here. Um, somebody's asking, how possible is it that you will become the first Muslim Prime Minister? For us, I don't know such ambitions. I'm quite happy with what I... Oh, come I mean, on. For us, I would, like to, I would like to serve another one more term, if possible, and leave politics, but I enjoy doing my profession as well. And I, I'm, I miss the adrenal rush in court. Well, where, where, where does it pay better? Uh, as a minister or as... Obviously uh, doing my profession. I had okay practice. I wouldn't say lucrative, but um, I mean, I was content. And I miss that. I, mean, I, I, I asked this question last time. This is a f last and final question. Faisal Mustafa, have you done any deals? Have you made any money as minister? Never, Faraz, and I never will do it. Thank you very much for your straightforward answer. Thank you very much for your straightforward answers to all the questions. Uh, we can see that you've done a grand job today. Thanks Absolutely for us. well done. Thank you for us. And uh, we look forward to uh, welcoming you on our programs again uh, in the not too distant future. So always a pleasure. And for certainly, us to meet you. Uh, I'm sure that because of what you did for the uh, for the women in this country, I'm sure that all the women will vote for you. I hope so for us. On that note, Faisal Mustafa, thank you very much. And that's the way it was on Newsline today. Take care. God bless. News First Newsline with Faraz Shaukatali.